It's human nature to try to define ourselves and our purpose in life. To do so, we can look at our ancestry, our appearance, our profession, our friends, or our current state of being. We can also look at our spatial context, where we are in the world, who we're surrounded by, and what resources are available to us can all influence our identity. In our work on the human intestine, our research team at Stanford thinks a lot about issues of identity and location. For us, it's all about cells. That's because every organ in your body has a unique structure and function that requires and is supported by a team of certain cell types. With the HubMap project, our goal is to map all of the types of cells in the human body using new technologies and computational methods. To create these maps, we use multiple technologies to get as complete a picture as possible of cells at the molecular level. That means looking at the proteins and RNA molecules that make up our cells and which help us categorize them into different types. To understand the organization of our cells, we use algorithms that analyze the cells like a city. We start by identifying individual cells, then group them into local neighborhoods of similar cells. Within this context, we also look at how cells interact within a neighborhood and how these neighborhoods form larger communities or structures in tissues. One thing that allows us to better see the organization between cells and their organization into communities is our use of a vasculature-based common coordinate framework, or VCCF. Given codex data for the intestine, we can map cells in 2D using a different color per cell type and compute distances to the nearest blood vessel using lines of the same color as the cell type itself. A zoom into the data shows an alternative view of nested cells and anatomical structures. By doing this, we have learned some fascinating facts about cell organization. For example, we observed that an increase in a person's body mass index, BMI, is accompanied by an increase of inflammatory macrophages within the mucosal areas of the intestine. Similarly, we found that neighborhoods containing both T cells and epithelial cells actually decreased within the colon or small intestine of donors with a history of hypertension. In summary, mapping all the cells in the human body is a complex and exciting project that requires multiple technologies and computational methods. By understanding the characteristics and locations of cells, we can better understand how they work together to keep us healthy. These were just a few of the many findings from our recent paper. If interested, explore the manuscript and data here.